Installing the JG floor panel system. This system is suitable for large installations and lends itself to regular shaped rooms. First off, the insulation for the UFH should be fitted to a flat surface. Preparing the floor. An expansion strip is required to accommodate expansion that occurs within the screed as a result of it heating up. This strip should be fitted around the room's perimeter. The joints must then be securely taped over. Extra expansion joints may also be required at doorways and large floor areas. Multiple circuits. A length of pipe has only a limited capacity to carry heat, so there is a limit to the effective length of a single pipe run circuit. When you have a large room or the room is a long way from the manifold, it may be necessary to use a number of circuits. Placing the JG manifold centrally to the circuits will greatly reduce the amount or length of circuits needed for a particular installation. This will have a bearing on the cost and performance of the system as well. Installing the circuit. We have shown in the previous video demonstration how to connect to the manifold and run the pipework to the room you're working in. After running the pipe from the manifold or one room pack to the beginning of the circuit, we can start to lay the pipe. The system forms a guide grid to make the installation of the pipe a one-man job for JG 15mm and 16mm pipe. The panels can be cut to size using a jigsaw or handsaw. The plates are joined by lapping the castellations over each other and pressing firmly to give a secure joint. It's intended to be laid directly onto the insulation of the prepared floor starting in the corner. Work outwards, lapping the panels in rows until the room is covered. It gives a secure pipe spacing system and allows the installer to perform an easy bending radius. Running the pipework between the castellations, install the pipework around the perimeter of the circuits to be laid. Work in a counterflow pattern and work from the outside towards the centre. Because the pipework spirals in and then returns in the opposite direction, the initial inward pipe spiral has to be double the designed distance apart. So a 200mm design centre would mean initially laying the inward spiral at 400mm. Serpentine pattern. This is an example of the serpentine laying method. As you can see, the pipework is laid in parallel lines and is returned at the end of each run. Bending radius. When performing 90 degree bends, make sure that the pipe passes around the castellations to achieve a smooth radius. JG Lay Flat Pipe makes this a much easier project. When the circuit is complete, ensure you have left enough space for any subsequent circuits to be laid. You may now run the pipework you're working with back to the manifold or one room pack and connect it. A variety of screeds can be used, such as sand, cement, or a flowing screed. The screed is typically 50 to 65 mm thick. When laying the screed, care should be taken to ensure that the screed is compacted around the pipe properly. Most screeded floors require 28 days after laying before preheating can begin. However, calcium sulfate screeds may need only 7 days after laying. Check with the manufacturer for specific drying times. Under no circumstances should the UFH be used for speeding up the drying period. If the UFH is being installed when there is a possibility of freezing conditions, suitable antifreeze should be added to protect the pipework. The system will need to be flushed out and refilled prior to operation. When turning on initially, the temperature of the blending valve should be set to the lowest setting, 25 to 30 degrees, and run for two to three days before building up the temperature over the next couple of days.